Hello, it's Easy Target coming back at you with another Diablo 3 Challenge Rift video. This is week 25, and we got a wizard. Let's go ahead and pop in the game and take a look at his gear and setup. Once we pop on in here, we see that he has Arcane Torrent, Teleport, Ice Armor, Magic Weapon, Familiar, Meteor, and for his passives, Illusionist, Blur, Unwavering Will, Audacity. Alright, I just want to put this out there. I don't play a lot of Wizard. Uh, it's one class I don't play very much of. My main one is Witch Doctor. So, um... I'm just going to go through it the best I know, um, get you through the level and get that win for you and get your, your materials. Uh, but if we take a look at his gear real quick, we got the Firebird set, uh, Black Thorn's Neck, Unity, Stone of Jordan, and I don't know much of this what this other stuff does for you. But I'll go sh through it and show you what I did to get the fastest times possible for my Rift Run. Alright, so basically what you're going to want to do is activate your square triangle and circle or your one two three um, and then that's gonna be active for basically all of the rift for your triangle and your circle so your two and your three you basically don't have to worry about um, but I would reactivate your square whenever you get up to a um, elite pack that just freezes things and makes things slowed up uh, and then also um, your meteor just activate on an elite but it appears that whenever you're pressing your X or your left mouse click that the meteors come down anyways so I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that but that's just the way it works um, and then you got your right mouse click which is your teleport that'll give you some more extra, um, some more armor whenever you do that so uh, if you're getting in a bind uh, just go ahead and hit that it'll give you a little bit more armor uh, keep you alive just a little bit longer uh, it does reactivate by getting a hit uh, these things don't attack right this second but um, it, whenever you use it you have a small cooldown but if you take a, a considerable amount of damage that thing basically instantly comes back up so as long as you're keeping yourself inside the group uh, you're good to go and you also want to be inside the group for whenever you get melee damage it'll freeze them that's what the uh, square or your one's going to be doing is freezing them whenever they do melee attacks to you so you want to stay in close uh, you want to use your teleport whenever you get in trouble or even teleport to get into the group so you have that little armor bus buff whenever you first go in um, pop your meteors and then press your X or your left mouse click and then get your damage going and then you can just get on with your rift um, Still do that as fast as you can um, and, and get on through the levels um, after this I got your maps uh, after the maps I'll have my run but I know everybody wants the maps, so here we go all right now moving on to the maps here um, I did find that I did need four four levels uh, if you're not clearing out the trash so clearing out the trash may be beneficial uh, in your run which I would recommend actually a little bit more than I did um, I just skipped a little bit too much and I needed that extra four uh, but I did not get the map in the elite placements so I'm sorry for that uh, you can get it done in the three levels I know that for sure because I've popped them in the, th in the third floor uh, whenever I'm whenever I was getting the maps um, but you just got to clear a little bit more of that trash, which this build does allow you to do that. Um, so take advantage of that and just clear up a little bit more trash as you're going through. Um, and I think it'll be a little bit more beneficial to you than just skipping straight to the elites. But anyways, you uh, enter in this rift right up top here. Uh, you got your first elite. Um, I did go up to the top here just to get a little bit of the trash. So I would do the same, just go up top and then circle around. You'll get this stuff over here float on in uh, whenever you're trying to kill this elite. Uh, but use your teleport to get your little damage reduction. Uh, make sure all your cooldowns are popped. Um, kill that elite real quick and then swing on through here and I, if I did this again for my run I'd go up here clear up that trash come down here and then make your way to this next elite um, here is where I missed a lot of the trash as well you got some trash throughout here um, that you can get uh, I'd take a path similar to that maybe um, go ahead and get uh, kill that elite go through there zigzag kill that trash as fast as you can don't spend too much time on there um, pop your meteors uh, and then pop your teleport and just keep moving on just let the meteors kill things as it's going uh, pop that uh, power pylon right there come on through here I'll uh, just zigzag through there get all that trash um, and just like not taking a lot of time but just killing trash as you're going and not just going from the elite to the elite and then you got one more elite right before you exit the level right here uh, take him out get on going oh I wasted a lot of time too I ported through 
to floor two, and then I had to go back, finish off that elite, go back in there. So make sure you don't click on that door right there because he is real close to the door. Um, then you come on over to here, you spawn in. There's not a lot right here at the beginning, so just kick on over to here. Um, you may want to just swing down here to try to pull some of that trash and aggro them over, and then kill up this trash up in here with the elite whenever you're taking them out, that first one right there. Um, and then again, I'm swinging on over here, try to take on some of this trash um, just to get it killed and get some more progression to the level a little bit more than I did uh, so you don't have to hit up that fourth floor switching to the floor is just annoying um, but uh, once you take out that last elite right there just kill the trash on up on the way out but I don't remember it much being over here but to get on out of there as fast as you can hit on up to the floor three uh, you come on right down here you got two first elites right up here so um, as you're moving on up you'll have a pretty decent amount of trash right there but you'll have the two elites that you can kill right at the same time basically so make sure you try to pull them together um, he does whenever I first was going through it he spawned right there but he may be in the doorway or something because I had it both ways he spawned inside and he spawned outside so maybe he just moved before I got over there to him uh, but I would try to kill them together just so I uh, help you out with your little time right there uh, and then just go ahead and kill your trash porting through them uh, whenever they hit you if you have a pretty decent amount of uh, mobs around you it's basically they'll hit you once and then you can port instantly after that so take that to your advantage whenever you're going through uh, but then get on up here you'll go up here uh, there is a pretty decent amount of trash up here but mainly you want to get up here for this uh, conduit right here I messed up by porting down porting up and then oh my cooldowns are all messed up but grab that pylon uh, this elite will follow you up here but I would come down and try to kill him down here so you're just not stuck up there wasting your time um, but um, once you got him out of the way you just come on over to here there's not much trash over here so I'd completely avoid that right there uh, kill this trash all up in this area though and then go ahead and get on through the level and you have this speed pile on but don't speed through too fast just kill some of this trash and you should be able to pop it before you get to the end over here but again like I said if you do need to go through uh, it's a lot easier just to go on to the next floor than to try to find a group of uh, trash so just go on through there uh, then you got your next level and you should be able to pop them pretty quickly after that uh, the rift guardian is pretty easy to take down with this build just make sure those cooldowns are popped right before he comes alive there and um, make sure those meteors are coming down and then just spamming your left mouse click or your X and then he'll just he just melted down for me like it was just a matter of seconds I didn't even really realize he was up there I think I maybe got hit once uh, but it's super super simple uh, for the boss uh, the time could be a problem if you're moving a little bit slower through the levels I could see that happening um, I think I even died once so uh, you should be fine I died I went through I had plenty I finished with plenty of time uh, but I hope this helps you out for this week's uh, challenge rift um, the maps actually or the uh, challenge rift actually refreshed correctly this week for me on my PlayStation uh, sorry for the delay last last week on that video um, thank you guys very much for stopping by uh, I very much appreciate it you guys have been very awesome uh, after this, this is now my run so if you're taking off thank you very much this is easy and I'm out